Hi, this is a short video giving an overview of my work, what I paint, the techniques used and the thought behind it. Filmed in Spain on our recent four month stay in a mountain retreat near Granada, where I was working towards an art expo in Luxembourg, which we participated in on the way home. So Tina, what do you look to achieve in your compositions? Contrast and light. Um, and movement as well. So I like to work from photographs and I'll often take pictures directly into the sunlight so that you get a really strong contrast between the foreground and the distance. So energy is another thing in my running paintings and in equestrian paintings and even in florals you have energy that flowers would move in the wind and that you'd have long spindly stems of plants uh, that twist and turn. Uh, also in a landscape you can get in energy and movement by the, um, by, by the effect of the wind through the trees and trying to capture that. So, in order to do that, I need to have a good composition, I need to take a good photograph, I need to have something in the foreground, the middle distance and the distance, and I also need a perspective, something with a path or a river going through it if it's a landscape, or something bigger in the foreground, smaller in the distance, and I like to work with the palette knife because that translates the energy into the painting. If it moves very quickly, the knife can move quickly and um, allow movement. And I see the palette knife and impasto painting as a little bit like the difference between mountain biking and road biking. So the mountain bike is the palette knife where it's a bit more rugged and a little bit more spontaneous and sometimes you get controlled accidents or unexpected effects that you know will come but they can be a pleasant surprise as well and that's what I'm after all the time is those effects with the impasto um, so that combined with the, with, the, with the composition and the light and the contrast that's what is the unifying thing in my work um, so I'll get, because I have several different themes, I'd have my florals, my equestrian, my running paintings and my landscapes and those are my, those are my subjects. I'm always open to more but generally that's what I paint and uh, that would be what unites them all is the strong contrast and colour and the impasto effect. So do you spend a lot of time taking photographs? I do. I'm out and about running. I go running every morning and when I'm out in the hills I see a lot that inspires me. And if it's a bad day and it's raining I know to come back to that spot and get a picture, get a photograph when the sun's out, you've got the strong contrast. That's what makes the best painting is the contrast, so having the sun out. But often there'd be something unexpected and I always stop and take a photo if I see a good shot. So what has it been like painting here in the Sierra Nevada? Well, I didn't expect it to make such a big difference uh, to my work. When I first came here, I thought, right, I'll paint what I know. And I started out with a couple of autumn scenes. But I was soon, within a week or two, I was transfixed uh, by the almond blossom that was coming out in early January. And I took a lot of photographs. The sky was blue, the lovely crisp contrast with the white and palest pink almond blossom. And uh, I felt the light coming through really uh, made a huge difference to my work. Uh, a lot of colour and joy almost and the energy and the uplifting feeling of being up on a mountainside and looking out over vast dif distance, I found made a huge effect. I felt relaxed. I was, the work was flowing. The palette knife was flying. It was really good. I got a bigger knife as well. I had this guy, which I got in France. This is my usual favourite, uh, but I was working with both of them, but well, not at the same time, but this one uh, for bigger paintings. And uh, I did several big works, and I found, I worked with the seasons, so when the almond blossom had finished, I went on to poppies as they came out, the lovely red, and taking photographs into the sun, with that strong contrast of the poppy shapes, the flowers, the seed heads, the dead heads, all make different shapes uh, against the strong blue skies, lots of blue skies. 
and I was running a lot so I got more colour into my runners. My runners were always silhouettes before when I was painting them over the last few years but now um, they've got bright coloured vests and they're almost like pop art I see them, a little bit more um, stylized um, and quirky but I find them quite humorous as well and I, I'm really excited about them. I really like my running paintings. So, um, And then I went on to some horses as well just because I like to get the energy and movement but still the colour and light and life was coming through which I think was a direct influence of being up in the hills here above Lanheron. It's been absolutely amazing. So Tina, can you describe the process of creating a painting? Well, a lot of the time I don't draw anything in pencil. I just start straight away. And like this painting here, it's, a, it's an olive branch. It's uh, leaves against the sky. There's no drawing. There's no pencil involved in that. Whereas the horse paintings, I would... I would spend a bit of time drawing very carefully. Um, then I go on to paint. I, I layer the paint and I work from the back to the front. So I start with the, the sky. The sky is always at the back. And then I build from there. So I go the far distant, um, whatever is in the distance. Uh, in this case, these small leaves are in the distance. And then as I build up, the bigger leaves will be in the foreground. And um, that's the same with all the paintings, whether it's horse paintings or landscapes. I always start from the back and work to the front. And I'm layering and texturing as I go along and creating an impasto, uh, which is a build-up. And they love me in the art supply shop because I get through a lot of paint. And I've often wondered, how is it I can part with the paintings but I think it's the process of doing them that I absolutely love. So after we left Spain, we went home via an art fair in Luxembourg where I had a stand. Typically, I would exhibit three or four times a year at art fairs, often at the RDS in Dublin, at shows such as House, The Horse Show and Art Source. From time to time, I have interesting commissions, like this large mural in Killarney for the town council, or the mosaic at the Black Sheep Hostel. You can see more of my paintings in Killarney, or online, or do call out to the studio to say hi and see what's on the easel. Thanks for watching.